But aside from that, geez, like we got trailers for a lot of Disney Plus series. We actually confirmed. So um, we did confirm the price, by the way. One one person from the podcast was asking that because up until that point, they had a weird ESPN deal that would have been for twelve ninety nine a month. And everybody thought that Disney Plus was twelve ninety nine. It's not. Uh, Disney Plus will be seven ninety nine, so a little bit cheaper than Netflix, I think, because I think Netflix is like nine ninety nine a month now. Right. So they'll be a little bit cheaper. Probably it, worth it. Because there, there's like a bundle deal where you can get Plus and Hulu together. It's like fourteen ninety nine a month, I think, or maybe a little more. I can't remember. Yeah. I will say one thing that will be absolutely hilarious with the Disney Plus release. So they they say they're they're releasing everything. Everything. Everything from the vault is going up into Disney Plus. Okay, cool. So I'm going to laugh if the day after there is huge backlash at Disney Plus because they released Song of the South okay. on Disney Plus. Well, they're not going to do that. <laughs> well, they said everything. Well, <laughs> by everything with an asterisk. Yeah. Pretty much. I think Disney Disney will forever be ashamed of Son of the South, even though there's a case for them to not be, but they will so forever be ashamed So are we going to say that everything's going to be... Apparently Andrea doesn't want to talk about Song of the South. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Everything's going to go up, and then when we do look at the library, we'll find out there's something not there. And then at that point, it'll be... <laughs> I have a feeling there's going to be some th somebody out there is going to be like, well, it said everything, but how come such and such is not there? Yeah, there's going to be those cheeky Twitter users who will be like, um, but you said everything. We're so on the cell. Oh, yeah. There, there's going to be tons of that, and that's fine if they want to do it. Um, the one that's going to be like, I, I will admit, I, I'm, I'm going to hold their feet to the fire at least on one thing, and that is they say that they're going to release every... Disney movie that is uh, like Disney animated feature that has come out in their order. Um, but I'm just going to say this right here. Now, if I don't see black cauldron on that, I, I, I will complain because I'd, uh, like, to, I, I, yeah. I, I'd like to see black cauldron again. Um, Sadly, I think that will also be excluded. I don't know. They say like every animated feature will make the, make its way there. And when it's, and when it's, what, when is this coming out? Uh, November 15th. Hmm. So that day, uh, our, our oldest daughter will cry a river of tears because little Einsteins will have disappeared from our Amazon queue. <laughs> that's just, that's the way it's going to be. She's like, no. <laughs> I'll bring out some anime she can watch. She'll <laughs> enjoy it. She's like, I'd rather borrow grandpa's DVD. <laughs> yeah, probably. I, I love it. The The only reason that Grandma and Grandpa are allowed to exist anymore is because they have little Einstein's DVDs. She doesn't even go up and hug them anymore. She doesn't go play with them. She just grabs a DVD and hands it to your dad. <laughs> just put this on. Well, she loved it when the, she got that rocket ship. Oh, yeah. So uh, your parents went out of their way to get a a legit toy of rocket from little Einstein's. With the, with the characters. Which it sounds to me they paid a pretty penny on eBay for. I don't so, know how much it's worth. I would I would like to know. That, well, that's me. Look it up. See what they go for on eBay. I'm almost afraid to. Because then I'd be like, oh no, they wrecked their retirement. <laughs> I think they'll be okay. I don't think that would be... Well, they said they found a new one for five hundred. Wow. But, there, but theirs is theirs is. Uh, well, yeah, is this. One, well, yeah, but it's good enough for her. So. No, no, I'm saying they found a new one on eBay that was still in the package for five hundred bucks. Yeah, but so, are these things know, rare? But Ari is does not need something that's new like that. No, no, she'll be fine. Mm -hmm. As long as it makes noise, she's happy. Mm -hmm, pretty much. And then it won't make noise anymore, oh, and she'll be forever wrecked by that. Should be sad, but I think she'll still play with it because it's Rocket, after all. Yeah, that's true. Oh, what about a fire arrows? This sucks. Oh, he's got arrows. Come oh, here. he does have arrows. <laughs> yeah, shoot me. Go get him. Go get him. I will say this though, going back to Star Wars, they unveiled the poster for it, and I'm I'm all on board with the poster. 
because the poster basically at the bottom has oh, um, Ray and Kylo crashing, but in the backdrop in space is the Emperor's visage. This is like, oh my gosh, is the Emperor actually going to be in this movie? Are we not done with Palpatine? I hope. I um, hope. Yeah, I, I think that's been all but confirmed, hasn't it? Palpatine's uh, in the movie. No, they, they've alluded to him in the trailer. That's pretty much what's what's happened. I don't even think they've admitted that. Um, oh crap! What's his name? Uh, Ian McDermott, McDermott has been cast. So, all I'm saying is, is that he needs to come out of the shadows and say, "Go for Papa Palpatine." <laughs> Go for Papa Palpatine. Papa Palpatine. It's a robot chicken joke. Oh gosh, you need to heal. I'm trying to kill this asshole. Keeps dodging my attacks. Fucking asshole. <laughs> All right, watch your language, bud. <laughs> That'll be the day. The fuck? I didn't want the fucking torch. Oh, that and the the other thing that. Well, you knocked him off, so. I, I don't think I've officially told you this, Andrea, but I'm also excited for this series. So they are officially going to be doing an Obi Wan Disney Plus series. Yeah, that's and cool. they're bringing back you and McGregor to play Obi Wan. Yes, so and you it. better open up by saying hello there. Hello there. Hello there. I, I'm, I'm just like sitting here going, "Will I be used to him again?" Because I've heard the the other guy from Clone Wars for so long, and he sounds more you and McGregor, you and McGregor than you and McGregor. <laughs> He's a, he's a deeper Ewan McGregor. He, he's kind of a weird fusion between Ewan and Would you rather have Alan. him or would you have had the other guy who played Obi-Wan Kenobi in the original? If he's well, a, rest in peace, Alec Guinness. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, Sir Alec Guinness. Sorry, <laughs> Sir Alec Guinness. Plus, if, okay. I, mean, I mean, if he was alive. If he was alive, he probably wouldn't do it because no. he, he, uh, he, resent, he resented the role after a while. Really? Yeah. Even if I remember correctly, Alec Guinness was was very, 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 very thespian. So at that yeah. point, like he kind of he kind of resented that that was what he re was remembered for. Yeah, and he, he like even told like a, a child fan, "It's like never watch that movie again. Please promise me you'll never watch it again." <laughs> <laughs> he kind of just grew kind of. Even when he did it, he didn't like it. No, no. Um... And it's one of those rare cases where the only time when I could I could say like somebody had such profound disappointment, probably Mark Hamill for Last Jedi, because he really regretted that. Yeah, I don't care what he said to Ryan later, guys. He was wow. he was knocking Fuck. it left and right. I don't think he can climb with that thing there. There is a way to well, obviously there's a way to get up here. Well, yeah, there's a road up. What the heck is he looking at? Uh, so this would be a giant desert worm. No, <laughs> it's in fact a dragon. A oh. Dargon. Sad worms. You hate them, right? Mm. I hate them myself. Uh, damn sand worms. But yeah, those are the those are the big. Well, actually, in this one, I want to bring up to Alex because okay. it's just so freaking silly. So one of the new Disney Plus series that they have announced is the world according to Jeff Goldblum. Okay, what? Well, I mean, what is it exactly? Is it like just basically an educational science show where you explain stuff? I don't know. Shoot. I, I almost kind of hope it's a, it's like a sitcom. Just so that we can have a younger person what? trying to imitate Jeff I... Goldblum? What the heck? It won't do anything. I think you have to hit him a couple of times, don't they? Oh, the eyes are... They're just malice eyes. They should just go down in one shot. Why can't I kill it? Oh, um... I think you have to do something first. Before they... Before you can take care of I that don't... growth. Mm, i trying That's to remember. It. I know I have to free him from the thing. Yeah, I, and part of that is is taking care of the malice tumor. That's what I call it, people. Um, it looks like a big old cancerous tu tumor. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor. Uh oh. Spring of wisdom. A... 
Oh, I had to trigger the cutscene. Oh, there you go. That's why. I wish I'd known that instead of wasting arrows. I don't have many arrows. Mm -hmm. and I'm not a great shot with this. That's okay. Really, we learned our lesson. I want to free him as soon as I can because he, what he drops, actually is what you use to upgrade the champion tunic. You've done well to find your way to the spring. You have obtained numerous, overcome numerous trials and obtained the spirit orbs. We hurry, my food will. I won't have cold resistance anymore. The one you see before you is an attendant of the Spring of Wisdom. This is Nydra, the blue spirit of Laniru. The servant of the goddess has looked over this, the spirits of this land for ages, unknown to the world of man. However, the dreaded malice unleashed by Calamity Ganon has possessed its body and reduced it to its to this state. Reduced it to this state. There we go. You have reached you have received the spirit orbs. Free Nydra from this malice and show it you yeah, what power can achieve. I see you. Jeez, I feel like this is Lord of the Rings. That's why I did Sauron. <laughs> I just shoot this one. Yeah, so there's the world according to Jeff Goldblum for Disney Plus. It might be a science show. I don't know. Um, it the all the interviews that I've seen on it, he's very playful about it. So it well, looks like he's coming down. Yeah, he's gonna go. So need to uh, I need to catch the wind. Where'd he go? He's around somewhere. And you're not going to follow him? I'm trying to follow him, but he's somewhere. <laughs> Why are you up there? You're supposed to go down into the valley. He's no, I'm not. Why I'm... are you making this harder for me? It's supposed to be easier. <laughs> Come on. Uh, no, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> There we go. And I love that we, uh, after we did the podcast on Friday, everybody was like, oh, you need to talk more about the Death Stranding gameplay experience at Gamescom. Why? <laughs> it was a dude walking around for like 10 minutes and occasionally pulling out a ladder. That's what it was. So did they want us to play Death Stranding as a... I would at least life? like to try it. Probably, yeah. It's it's a Kojima game, so at that point, I'll, I'll at least give it a shot. But I'm, I'm sorry, but their gameplay reveal just said nothing. It was it was a classic I mean, Kojima we'll troll. I mean, we'll probably do it as a live stream to see. Uh, not sure about that. Like, we might do, like, the new game unveil for it, at least. Oh, so this would that'll be... be a <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it would have hit you if you and knock you off? It, it would. <laughs> I have personal experience. I was being a duty head one time, and and this dragon just came up and smacked me. See, the hardest part about this is he's moving. The eyes are going to constantly be fluctuating open and closed. And somehow you need to get above this dragon. Right now this would be so much easier if I, I should have waited till I got Revali's Gale, but I'm like, I want to unlock him soon, quicker. Because he's got stuff so I can- Yeah, I think we had Revali's Gale when we unlocked it. Yeah. God damn it. Speaking of which, people are going to be so proud of me. Ah! We are down to like our last shrine and our last memory. And then we're, I think we're going to tackle the DLC first and then we'll, we'll finish the game. But we got to see Hyrule Castle for the first time last night. Oh, wow. So you can escape as long as you don't. Yeah, you can escape. You can teleport out. Yeah, but it it's basically like to all the people who are screaming, there is a dungeon. Yes, you are technically right. There yes. is a dungeon. Yeah, Hyrule Castle. A dungeon. <laughs> I wanted dungeons. Hey, but I'll take it. <laughs> hey, maybe hopefully the next uh, um, the Breath of the Wild 2, maybe they'll include more. That's that's the uh, premise right now, is that now that they have the world fleshed out, the um, the next step to Onuma is dungeon design. So at that point, we're going to get lots of new dungeons. 
and probably expanded map to explain those dungeons. So. Well, you're going to have to take your shot, Alex. Well, I need a clean shot. I can't can, get him. Can't you hit him from here? I. Even though it's kind of a... No, I don't have a clean enough shot. I'll just miss. I thought he went lower, but I guess not. But there. Tell you what, I will answer this. Just question try and shoot it right, right there. Now. Oh. God. <sighs> Mary, dragon. We are all giving Alex the concentration he needs. <laughs> we can talk. It's okay. <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to bring up shoot. a trailer, so. Dang, it didn't go through. I don't. There must be a way to get up higher. Damn it. I can't do this now. I need Revolve's Gale. Because this is as high as I can climb. Oh, well, I can climb up that, but. It's okay. We'll get it eventually. Yeah, it's just too far. And I'm not that good of a ah! shot. I don't Tee! think. I don't oh. think he'll knock you off. It doesn't look like it. If those claws hit me, it will. There we go. See? <laughs> okay, I was off. wrong, so I... Fuck! God damn it. Poor Link. He's just getting beaten to hell in this recording. <laughs> Okay, to answer your question, Alex, the world according to Jeff Goldblum is not a science show. It's a globe trotting show. Okay, so he like, goes and finds random things and does a show about it. Ow. So it's like it's like uh, part parts unknown with that the new or I don't know, destination um, unknown with Yeah, um that like, or um Oh, you would not know this reference, but it because it's a pro wrestling deal. But they actually did a show like that with one of their Here announcers, Corey Graves, and it's like that. Or like, for example, the best episode that they ever did on that is that they went into the world of bronies. Okay. A WWE show went into the world of bronies. Why is a wrestling show doing stuff like that? Because there... WWE Network needs to fill stuff for, <laughs> on their network, and they All wanted right. to do stuff other than wrestling. Hopefully you can get a good shot on him. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> Show those elite sniper skills. There we go. We got one. Well, technically we got two. But... Oh, two. Okay, so <laughs> now you got to get the head, right? Yeah. Teeth. Lots of teeth. Well, he seemed like he's not circling in that same area. Yeah, because I I hit the first one. Now he's moving. Finally. And we just got to figure out how to get higher than him. Something to that extent. Got to get higher, higher. Kind of like what Alex was saying is that it, it would be a lot easier if you had Rivali's Gale. But we don't have it, so we got to make it work. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Hey, well, at least he's now lower, so you can probably have a shot if yes, we just get him in the right. Giving Alex the concentration. <gasps> I'm okay, dude. <laughs> he just he's not going. Oh, right. now he and now he opens. Now he's it. turning. Where are you going, dragon? All right, go, go. Oh my well, god, holy shit! That was, that, that was, was a hell of a you shot. should have not gotten that shot, sir. But I'm proud that you did. Why does my mouth say, taste like sandpaper? Back in my day. Back in my day. I had to fly 15 miles. To school, in the snow, uphill both ways. It's okay, he's a nice dragon. With nothing but sh nothing but broken glass for shoes, and we liked it. Thanks to your efforts, Nidra, the spirit of Mount Lanaru has been freed from the grips of an evil power. But a single ceremony remains. Now lose 
your arrow through your body. Wait, what? Now lose your arrow through the body of Nidra to free the sp spirit of this region. It's very simple. Shoot Nidra. Yeah. Poor dragons. They have to get shot all the time. It's like, why do I have to be shot? The spring of wisdom. Wait, wait, you didn't drop your scale! You suck! I must have dropped it somewhere. There it goes. Oh, uh, it's behind us. 